Hi friends, in this video, let us discuss one more learning task, filtering. As we know, filtering means taking some information from the whole information or from the bigger information, we need to take the smaller information. So, this, this thing is called, this practice is called filtering. Let us see how the filtering will be done in our neural networks. So this is the formal information of filtering. Let us see uh, what exactly the filtering is in neural network con thing is concerned. Let us see the filtering refers to a device. It's, it may be a device or an algorithm used to extract the information about a prescribed quantity of interest from a set of noisy data. Noisy data means maybe a, big, a bigger data, some data is unwanted for us, so we can call the whole data as noisy data. So from that noisy data, we need to extract the data whatever we want. That means that is the quantity of interest. Whatever we are interested in, we need to take that data. So that type of thing is called filtering. And let us see why the data will be noisy. Let us see. The sources of noise may be noisy sensors, maybe we are using some sensor and it is creating some noise or it is adding something else to the system or something else to the to the output of, of output to that sensor. That means sensor is adding something else. Then the information bearing the signal, yeah, the signal has been taken care the Maybe the information bearing the signal may corrupt by transmission through a communication signal. That means the information has to be transferred by using some communication lines or communication things. During that course, during the transmission time, during the transmission time, there may be some addition of information. So that can be called as noise. And so the noise can be, this may be one of the sources of noise. And the third one is information bearing the signal may corrupt by interference with the other signals in the environment. This is the interference, simple interference. If the frequencies are matching, then the interference may occur. So, based on these three things, the noise, the source will be polluted. I mean, this information will be polluted or information will be added. So, we, we are unwantedly taking some extra information that is not will that is not of our interest that's why the filtering is required now let us see how the filtering happens in our human beings and then how the filtering will be done by neural network by seeing the human beings let us see this so the basic tasks in, tasks in filtering is there are three tasks are basic things one is filtering second one is smoothing and third one is prediction let us see filtering what is one by filtering filtering means extraction of information about a quantity of interest at discrete time n by using the data measured up to n including n for example i need to take some information or i need to extract some information from one point to the other point then I will take the same thing. For example, I will take the information from uh, discrete time n. Maybe it is starting from 0. I may not start from 0. I may start from m and I may end at m plus n. This part I want to take it. Then I will take information from m to m plus n including m and m plus n. So this much information I will take. Then that is called filter. Simple. As simple as such. How much information we want. We are simply extracting that information. That's all. That is called filtering. Simple. Let us come to smoothing. What is meant by smoothing? The information. The information may not be available up to N. And the information may be after the N also. Then we need to take that information also. So in this course, in this smoothing operation, what happened? Actually, we are expecting our job to done it up to end, but we are going beyond end in this smoothing operation. Then the result, the pro production of result 
will be delayed. Okay, that is the drawback. We can call it as drawback. If we are unable to wait, we can call it as drawback. So that is the problem with smoothing. But still, smoothing means we are taking the necessary information beyond our limits. That means it is better when compared to filtering. So it's more accurate when compared to filtering in statistical sense because we will take the required information after the our boundaries also. So that thing is very much important as we want the information, we want the required information whether we whether you cross the boundary or whether you are within the boundary that's none of our business but we want to take the required information so if the required information is after n then also it will take it then that is called smoothing that's why smoothing is more accurate compared to filtering as it will take the required information beyond the boundaries okay that's the thing next coming to the other basic thing, basic task that is prediction. So this data is forecasting side. That means we will forecast the thing based on the previous experience. The aim is to derive the quantity of interest at some time at n plus n0 where n0 is greater than 0 by using data up to and including n. So by using the data up to n and including n we need to expect the data maybe n n plus n naught maybe after some time so up to up to today's environment maybe up to today's temperature we need to forecast the temperature of after five days just like that we need to predict the things we can do this thing also so all these things are the basic tasks under the filtering so filtering smoothing and prediction three things now let us discuss how these things will be used in our thing that means filtering in neural network how it will be used let us see first we need to see how filtering will be done by the human beings we need to carefully observe the behavior of the human beings for each and every task we have done the same thing right from the beginning onwards so how the how exactly the human beings are acted for any task based on the same thing we need to design the neural network here let us take a cocktail party let us see the cocktail party problem somebody is speaking some some far distance with so much of noise but still we can identify his voice and we can identify that person yes somebody has come that means some x has come yeah i am listening to his voice so some x has come just like that how this can happen that we need to observe how this happened how can we find that somebody can come based on the background what the noisy background irrespective of the noisy background irrespective of other sounds we can able to identify that voice and we can able to identify the person how how it can be done? these things can be done by pre-attentive and pre-conscious analysis that must be involved in the solving of cocktail party. So we have already registered the voice of that person and the face of that person and the name of that person and we have already attentive, we have already expected that the person may come to the party and let us uh, uh, identify whether he has come or not. So there are two things, one is pre-attentive and pre-conscious analysis so these two things are very important to solve our problems especially filtering problem by human beings let us see these things how we can apply in the neural networks this is filtering by neural networks actually we have u of n unknown source signal and we need to multiply the same thing with the unknown mixing matrix m m by m dimension m by m then we can create the x of n that is observation vector now based on that observation vector we need to find out our we need to find we need to recover the thing u of n in an unsupervised learning yeah this is called blind blind signal separation how the signal can be separated blindly. 
that means we have simply added the some matrix we have simply added the noise and then we are trying to identify the required information out of this how this can be done let us see so here the thing is x of n is given to you that is observation vector which is the multiplication of a and multiplication of a and unknown source signal okay these two have been multiplied that means multiplication of mixing mixing matrix and unknown source that has given to you and you need to find out that unknown source signal okay that that thing is that is that can be done in unsupervised learning and let us see how it can be done so this is the filtering so first we we, we have the data u u of 1 to u m of n and that is multiplied with unknown mixture and it will come to x and then we will demixture it w and finally we will get y of n let us see how this can be done this can be done by prediction problem the below figure is for prediction and let us see whenever it comes so this is a prediction problem so x of n in this prediction problem our job is to get x of n so for getting x of n we need to go back to i mean we need to take the past values of x of n that is x of n minus t x of n minus 2t and x of n minus mt where t is the sampling period and m is the let us see and m is the prediction order okay then this is the neural network so the past values have been given to the neural network and the present value is compared with the past value whatever may be with the free parameters of neural network then the error has been generated and based on this error the neural network will be trying this is done by error correction algorithm only but here the reference has been provided by the process itself no need to take from others so this can be done by an unsupervised manner okay that's the thing we need to remember and let us see how it can be explained so x of n is the present value of the process and all these things are the past values and t is the sampling period and m is the prediction order so the prediction may be solved by error correction learning unsupervised learning as the training data is from process itself okay this point is very important point. the notations are very simple x of n is the desired response let me go back x of n is the desired response and x cap of n is the output of neural network and these two are compared and error is generated and based on this error neural network is trained <coughs> neural network is trained and yeah smaller the error is expected to make the new network better in generating the data proper data and if the process is non linear the use of neural network provides a powerful method for solving the prediction problem yeah if the system is non linear the neural network is responsible to make the powerful solution to get get rid of to get the proper output okay that's the very important task in filtering okay this is the complete explanation of filtering yeah thank you so much for 1100 plus subscriptions if you like this video please like it and kindly share the video with your friends and colleagues so that they will also get benefited and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe and kindly press the bell button so that you will get the notification whenever whenever i upload the any new video Thank you, thank you very much.